house. It smells so bad. Hey, Summer Hens, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I am Naomi. This is Summer Hen Beauty, where we talk all things beauty for people who are not spring chickens anymore, but we are getting our grooves back. This is another episode of Should I Buy It, where viewers write in, ask me to buy something, try it out so they don't have to, and tell them if they want it. Today's Should I Buy It is from Summer Hen Heather. She has requested that I try out, I was about to grab the wrong thing, this would be awkward, Lush's Scenic Solid Shampoo. Wow, it really does kind of smell my mermaids. I haven't even picked this up yet. This is, you're seeing it for the first time right now. Okay, so Lush makes solid shampoos. What you do is you lather this up like soap, you rub your head, etc. You treat it just like soap, except it's a shampoo, okay? Um, this is supposed to be volumizing. And it smells like salt and seaweed and the sea. Because see the little things in there? It's seaweed for your hair. It's kind of bizarre. So, on Heather's behalf, I will try this. Um, for you and for science, I have let myself get absolutely filthy. This is the end of a long day, at the end of a long week. Um, I am absolutely disgusting. My hair has product, more product, more product, and days and days and days of just sitting its own filth. Um, I naturally have pretty dry hair, not problematically so, which might be a bit of a concern because they say that Scenic is not great for dry hair, but we're going to assume that it's been treated very well lately other than, you know, this. Uh, so I wanted to get it as oily as it was ever going to get because apparently it does a good job at taking excess oil out. I think sometimes it may do a little bit of a good job of taking non-excess oil out, but we're going to find out because science. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to try and get all this gunk out of my hair. It might be a few hours. I'll see you soon. Hi. I'm back. I had a shower. I'll accept your congratulations after the show. Um, okay. So, I have a lot that I want to say. First of all, before we get to what happened in the shower, before we get to what happened in the shower, that sounds really weird, um, I decided to take some promo shots. Now keep in mind that I've never actually smelled this item before. I had someone else pick it up for me and it came in the little tin, which it, you actually have to buy. It comes normally in a paper bag, so I would normally have known this, but I didn't because it was already in the tin. I brought it close to my face and I found the smell so upsetting that I could not get a photograph taken. Um, like eventually I actually had to plug my nose. I, it wasn't a good smell for me. I did not enjoy it. And I'm a Pisces. I like smells of the sea, but I, this was smells of the, oh my God, the soap, the soap, the soap. Uh, so it wasn't my favorite. Okay. So, um, I took a shower and it was terrible. Um, it stripped my hair so badly that I thought that I was putting like chemical cleaners that they use in factories or something that would you, you would use to, for example, remove the rust from a car. Um, it was wretched, although my mother did have a nice Dove conditioner in the, in the shower, which I was able to try and I quite liked. So uh, any questions about that, let me know. Um, the smell did not get any better, but it did go away after I showered. Um, on the plus side, it lathered well. I will say that it lathered well. Um, I have historically liked the lathering capacity of Lush shampoo bars. Um, this one did not disappoint. Okay, so as I was sitting around figuring out what I was going to say about this debacle, I took the liberty of looking up on the internet to see what other people have to say about this shampoo, and I thought I would share some of them with you. Uh, Chelsea in BC says, to my disappointment, it dried my hair out horribly. When I say dried it out, I mean dry. It was frizzy and tangled, extremely easy, and overall made my hair, my soft hair, feel like nearly flammable straw. Um, good, I got all the oils out of my hair, but I keep finding little bits of seaweed. Uh, the once pleasant scent of salt and seaweed turned to fish. At least the scent was still reminiscent of the sea. Um, I love the smell of scenic, but I dye my hair dark brown. I also dye my hair dark brown. And despite the sales girl assuring me that it wouldn't strip my color within the first use, the water in my shower was turning brown. And last but not least... The first ingredient listed raises quite the red flag, sodium laurel sulfate, SLS. Do you remember when we talked about drunk elephant and their suspicious six? 
Drunk Elephant, it's up there. Um, yeah, sodium lauryl sulfate was on its number one suspicious six list, the things that they never use, because badness. Um, so this person says, the infamous ingredient known for its lipid stripping abilities. Um, I now only have fond memories of my lipids. According to some person who seems to be a doctor, it's a well-known irritant used in a well-known irritant used in patch tests to evaluate how the skin's barrier will function against will perform against the harsh chemical. It strips your skin and hair of natural oils, weakening any defenses those parts may have against future environmental damage. Okay. I was going to go away and see how this did on my hair, and I was gonna possibly dry it, and I was gonna walk around my life, and I was gonna yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I hated this. There are no words in English to describe how much I hated it. I hated it with the fire of a thousand suns. Never buy this. If your hair is very, very different from mine, for example, if it is alien hair that comes from a different universe, you may like this. Um, maybe mermaids do like it, but I don't think mermaids like sodium lauryl sulfate any more than we do. So maybe they should just stick to the seaweed. They're rocking it. It's going fine. So yeah, I hated it. Never buy it. Summer ends. What's next? Next week for you, we have another, should I buy this? We have a thrifty Thursday. We have a brand new product that I'm trying out that I have it on good authority while mermaid related has no seaweed or SLS. And we have a pretty cool tutorial coming up. So if you have not yet joined the Summer Hen Coop, we would love to have you. You can click subscribe and then YouTube's going to come up with a little bell. If you click that bell, you will be notified the moment my next video comes out and you can hang out with us in real time. Summer Hens, it has been wonderful having you. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for spending time with me and I'll see you soon.